Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Those of you that follow the channel, catch all the videos, we got a new video every day, make sure you're subscribed, would have seen, I recently did some work to my Mosin. I took off the old rickety wood, old school stock, and I put on this Archangel stock. So check this out. It's got all kind of adjustments, attachment points, doodads and whatnot. <laughs> also swapped it from a uh, top feed to an external mag here that's pretty cool and up front <clears throat> you got more attachment doodads and all that stuff didn't touch the sights sights are still old school factory there i'll show you the rear sight there it's got that you know adjusted up up and down for the meters and what whatnot but hey Action on this thing is super, super smooth. Trigger is good enough. Uh, but the whole thing was, hey, I want to see if we can turn my old school Mosin. This one's stamped 1943. This is the M9130 version. And hey, what can I do to my old rickety Mosin? Uh, to get it to fling blue lots a little bit better, be a little bit more precise. So put this stock on here. Half of y'all were upset and half of y'all liked this stock. But the whole point of today's video is I'm gonna take this out to the range, see what kind of groups we can get with it now that we have this stock on there. I'm gonna take it out to 50 yards, 100 yards, and 200 yards and see what I can do with these irons. Uh, I think the next step is gonna be putting a scope on this, which is not exactly easy to do. But today we're gonna go out and see how good I can do with irons. The boo lots I got here today is this barn all stuff. If you aren't familiar with the Muslims, this is what they fling, 762 by 54 R. And these are 203 grainers, soft points. I got one right here to show you. There's what those babies look like. So, I mean, you could take a deer with this stuff, no problem. But that's what we're doing today. Seeing what ground groups I can get with just the irons all the way out to 200 yards. Let's hit the range, see what we can do. Alright, so back from the range, you guys saw the footage, and honestly, I did about as good as I thought I could do with this setup and the irons. I really think the iron sights is the limiting factor. Let me show you the targets here real quick. So at 50 yards, no problem whatsoever seeing the target at 50 yards. This is what I drew there. I took five. 
and this is what I got. I was hitting about with this dead on hold at 50 yards. I can 100% line up my sights on that. No problem. So perfect hold here at 50 yards. I was hitting us about six inches to the right and roughly six inches up. So uh, we'll call that a three inch group. I didn't put the calipers on this one. Uh, not honestly, not too terribly worried about it, but about a three inch or so group at 50 yards iron sights now let's look at the 100 yard group <clears throat> i sent a little bit more down range just for fun uh, but because of how my hits were hitting at 50 yards for this one at 100 yards i was honestly holding dead on right here this will fold in the middle of the page i was holding right here to get all these hits so one low how many did we get pretty close two in that little thing but then even still uh up and right for all those hits so all in all that's like a at 100 yards that's about an 18 inch group uh, hard to know how my hold was with iron sights being perfect um i don't care who you are 100 yards is pretty far to see with just your eyeballs um yeah 100 yards is probably about my max, uh, what I would take on a deer uh, with irons. That's just the facts. Uh, now, let's see what happened at 200. First, uh, I knew at 200 I'd probably have a hard time hitting just that one sheet because 200 yards, like I said, I don't care who you are, that's a long ways away. This little front sight here pretty much covers up your whole paper. So it's it's... I was going to say almost impossible. I'm going to say it is impossible uh, to know for sure you're holding the exact same spot every time at 200 yards. I don't care who you are. A bunch of you guys are saying, oh, no, that's easy. I get them in the same hole at 200 yards. I bet you do. Actually, I know you don't. Anyway, <laughs> let me show you my target. Actually, I took a picture at 200 yards. I put up three pieces of paper side by side. Let me show you the picture here real quick. Okay, so you saw the picture. Now, I only brought back the middle sheet back home with me, but I can't remember how many I sent, but again, I was holding like somewhere down here and you can see my spread at 200 yards. I can't remember how many we took, 10 or 15, uh, but actually did hit one right there, one up there, one kind of close there. Yeah, that's kind of close there, but then really, kind of all over the place had some on the sheet over here and had some on the sheet over there 200 yards definitely a stretch for this thing with the iron sights so <clears throat> all in all like i said um uh, i really like this stock uh, it just feels good it feels like it's meant to be awesome and fit you as opposed to that old and clunky wood thing which worked you know it worked obviously but this type of stock it just really fits uh, and feels a lot more natural but uh, the plus is about the stock I like it feels good I like that it's mag fed the only negative I had out there at the range the very last round every single time the bottom round didn't want to pop up enough to where the bolt would grab it so Every single time on the last round, I was having to like uh, mess with it, tap it to get that last round up, and then so we could fling that last one. But really, that's the only negative. Uh, the shots being somewhat all over the place, I don't think has anything to do uh, with the stock or the Mosin. That's just a matter of using the irons. So the next thing I'm going to have done with this, we're going to put a rail on it so we can put a scope on it and then we're really going to slow down and get some precision out of this thing uh, where we can know with some magnification that we're 100 percent holding the exact same spot then we can really test this thing out um, as far as seeing how it'll group and what kind of precision groups we can get with it but hey but you guys that's for this video it was a whole lot of fun to take out there uh, used to be the bulots for these things were real cheap that's not necessarily the case anymore unfortunately but hey 
Mosin with that Arc Archangel stock. I absolutely dig it. I'll never put that wood one back on and stand like this. Uh, but yeah, that's the groups we got. Taking a deer. Hey, as it sits right now, I'd have to have that deer at 50 yards or I wouldn't even try it. Uh, 100 yards just wasn't grouping that good. Uh, but pretty, pretty cool. Worked out good. It's comfortable. Fits good. Now, I need to get a scope on this baby. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you're subscribed. We got new videos like this every single day. Comment down below what you want to see next time. Appreciate y'all. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo -de -hoo.